Guys, this tutorial was requested by Tony Eta. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to count clicks on links that can make call and store them in a file. And for this, we're going to use PHP as a server-side language. And with a bit of JavaScript, we'll be ready to go. So let's get started with pseudocode. This is client-side one. First of all, we'll ne need to create a link that can place calls. Second, we'll create a function that will bind a click event on the link. And then we will send an adjex request to a page to increase the count and store it. That's it for the client side. Next on server side, we'll create a file if it doesn't exist and then we'll increase the counter. So simple. Let's get started. This is a page with JavaScript and CSS file included. We won't be working on CSS in this tutorial, but we'll shortly write JavaScript. We will begin by creating an anchor with the telephone link and this is it we are done for html let's give it a try in javascript we'll follow the same pseudocode first of all we'll create a function we'll name it click counter then we'll select the anchor element so that we can bind event listener to it after selecting the anchor will bind the event listener for click event and whenever the link is clicked we'll send an adjex request using uh, fetch api this is just to let you guys know that if fetch api doesn't work in your browser you can use good old fashioned xml http requests to get your work done and that's it we're done for javascript now all you need to do is to call the function Now it's time for PHP. First of all, we'll check if the file exists or not, and if it doesn't, we'll create the file. And we'll name the file as counter.txt. When we create the file, we'll give it an initial count of zero. After that, we'll read the file in count variable, and then we'll save the file by increasing count variable. And that's it. We are done. Let's give it a try. Hope it helps you, Tony. Bye.